Holy crap. It's under 18 degrees in here. That is ridiculous. That's in Celsius, of course, just so you know. Greetings, viewers. This is CP666 signing on. And as you could probably tell, I sound a little bit different. Well, that's because of a combination of things. I am both of fighting a cold right now, and I am also fighting my incredibly, absolutely wonderful dust allergies. Yes, that's right. Both of these things decided to happen at about the same time. And what's worse is I had to actually pick up this knee brace because my knee has started killing me, too. So... That's, that's, that's definitely a great start to 2015, isn't it? This is the subject of some... Uh, ouch. That actually, I think, just cut me. But anyways, subject of some comments recently. You know, what is that thing with the wires and the spring clips and all that kind of stuff? And what are you going to do with it? Well, it's a Maxitronics Lab 201 electronic project lab with a tuning, tuning dial, control switch, and also, well, it's basically a power switch and a volume. I guess you could use it to switch anything because it is just a bunch of switchable contacts, but still. Level meter, seven segment display, six LED, I think those are LEDs for various things. An IR sensor, a uh, hello camera. Something else, maybe another indicator. A code key. Oh, yeah, I missed this. Selection switch, a speaker, and then two of these external input things. Now, I do not recommend doing this, but I left a couple of batteries in here. You can see that all this stuff is perfectly labeled, and that is because it's intended for use with younger children. That's when I got this. I got this something like 10 years ago. It's ridiculous. Actually, more than that, maybe 13 years ago. I think I got... No, that's 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 a bit of a stretch. Getting this as a five-year-old probably wouldn't be true. So something more like 10 years. I think I got this when I was eight or nine. So that would, that would be better. I'm not that old. Come on. So you've got the tuning, the control. It even tells you exactly where the electricity is flowing and all that kind of stuff through the display. And through all this stuff, we've got a relay here. That's not a very high-quality relay, but that's okay. I've always wondered who makes these capacitors. It looks like TNC, which is probably a cheapo manufacturer. So these caps are probably bad, but I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. Then you've got the integrated circuits. And it looks like the battery is about ready to fail in this camcorder. So I'm going to make this quick. Then we've got, what is that? That is a two input NAND chip. As for what I'm going to do with this, I am actually going to be using this as an AM, AM and maybe even an FM and uh, tuner kind of thing. Just build my own because why the heck not, right? So these wires are not in place for that. These wires are actually in place for a burglar alarm thing that you've seen on this channel before. I made it for that sole purpose. But I'm going to be taking these off and I'm going to be building my AM and FM possibly tutor with this, and you will definitely see video of that. Hopefully, in that video, I will be feeling and sounding a lot better than I do in this. I'm probably going to take these batteries out, though, in the meantime, but there you go. So the one problem is, is I know that I've got a show tomorrow. I might not be able to do that show. But anyways, whatever. That's, well, I'll upload the uh, YouTube announcement for the show anyways. So there you have it. There's basically the whole deal with this this thing, and uh, thank you for watching, if you've got any comments, feel free to leave them down below, and uh, this is CP666 signing off, I hope to see you next time, well, I'll be feeling a lot better, Till then. A lot of people like seeing cats in videos, so, there's your cat in this video, apparently he's biting his arm as usual.